idea of Black Lives Matter came out, it made us come together as a people. Now afterwards, yes, there was some, uh, there were some things where the money went, there were some things where it was used in order to push us to the Democratic vote. There were people behind and involved. That happened. But the general feeling, so when I said that, and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment that actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. Yeah. I must have needed that extra defense. Are you worried you ruined your legacy, honey? Oh. How? How? Oh, well, stop. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not worried. I'm just not worried. Period. God is alive. God runs the world. You know, God even runs Hollywood. Oh. God is alive, and He's using me right now. He chose me for such a time like this to be, to basically for the, for the media to put their knee on my neck, for Adidas to put their knee on my neck. All I ever wanted at Adidas, I left Nike because Nike wouldn't give me a percentage for my shoes when I had the Red October. And my girlfriend at the time was pregnant and I needed to get some money because if I was the kid that just had the red shoes, I could have never been a black man wearing a red hat. When the, when the, like Nike would have shut me down immediately, right? Right, dude. But because Adidas was a German company, it gave me a little bit more room to be able to express myself and to actually have a political opinion.